Hey, this is Steve Overton with Zencoast Consulting. In this how-to video, I'm going to demonstrate a technique to spot potential funnel accounts using SAS Visual Analytics. In this video, we'll cover assumptions around staging the data and how it should be structured, how to build the analysis in SAS Visual Analytics, and how to use a report to identify potential funnel accounts. For reference, this type of report is mainly geared for analysts and compliance managers at large banks. We're going to be working in SAS Visual Analytics, building a report on top of the SAS anti-money laundering solution, and we'll obviously be working with bank transaction data, specifically cash transactions. First, let's define what a funnel account is. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, otherwise known as FinCEN, put out an advisory a few months ago which defines a funnel account as an individual or business account that receives cash deposits in one geographic area then withdrawals from a completely different geographic area within a short time span. Usually all of this occurs below the cash reporting threshold. For example, a criminal, a criminal makes one or more cash deposits at a branch in New York, then another criminal immediately withdraws the funds at a branch near the border of the U.S. and physically runs the cash across the border. SAS Visual Analytics makes it easy to analyze funnel accounts using a combination of spatial analysis and a drill through technique I like to call the information pathway. In order to identify funnel accounts, we need to be able to link cash in and cash out for a specific account and have a geographic attribute defined within the data. To structure data for this type of analysis, we need to query the system of record for cash transactions, do some restructuring to group by customer account, and include some additional location attributes. In this how-to video, we're going to look at a report, and here's the data behind the scenes of this report. You can see how data is grouped by the customer account number, and we have a group of columns focused on cash in, and another group of columns focused on cash out. The key here is that we have geographical data like the branch zip code and state. In this how-to video, we're going to assume the time span be between transactions is relatively short. Now let's use SAS Visual Analytics to create a report from this data. To start with, I'm going to click Create Report. I'm going to go to Data, and I'm going to select my data source. And in my environment, I have a number of different data sets, but I already know my data is staged and it's loaded into laser, and it's called funnel data. From here, we need to define some uh, extra attributes of the data. First, let's switch our zip code to US zip codes for our cash in transactions. Do the same thing for cash out, switch it to US zip codes. Change our customer number to a category. We need to also define the cash in state. And I already know this is a US state, it's defined as an abbreviation, so a two character abbreviation. Same thing for cash out. Then I'll go ahead and define a hierarchy on the fly. Let's do the same thing for cash out. Now that we've got our data defined the way we want it, I'm going to go to Objects, and I'm going to grab the Geo Region Map object and drop it into our report. Then we're going to go to Data and define our cache in state as the region we want to analyze. Then 
Then I'm going to go to our Rolls tab here. I'm actually going to switch the color to our cash in amount. So you can see here on this slide of the report, we have a summarization of cash in by state. And the nice thing about SAS Visual Analytics is it draws the regions for us around the states based on our cash in amount and colors it accordingly. And this is just the first step of this analysis. Let's define another section here so we can continue forward because this is really the first step is looking at volume of cash in. We want to see what states have the highest amount of cash in and then we're actually going to link that to another section here that summarizes where the cash flows out. So let's grab our objects here and let's actually go to a geo bubble map. And this time, we're going to just basically drop in our cash out location. You can see our data is pretty limited here, but this is for demonstration purposes. I'm going to select the size, leave it as frequency, and I'm just going to make the color our cash out amount. And again, this is just going to look at the data one time, but what we need to do next is link the two sections. So what I'm going to do here is within our first section, which summarizes cash coming in, I'm going to use the Interactions tab over here to the right to define a new section link. Of course, we're going to link to Section 2, the geo bubble map we just created. So from here, I could double click a state, and within this tab, we're looking at cash out that came in through the state of New York. So for instance, now I'll drill down on Arizona. And now we can see here we've got a series of branches across the border that may or may not have potential funnel account activity. But what we should do from here is actually take it one step further. I want to take a look at what are the customer accounts that deposited cash within New York and withdrew the cash at branches along the border, specifically in this branch. So what I want to do is define another section. And what I'm going to do here to make it a little easier to analyze is I'm going to use a tree map. I'm going to drag that in. Right now it's empty, so we need to define our roles. So our tiles are going to be our customer account numbers. Size will be frequency and then let's make our color cash out amount. And then what we need to do is actually define a, again another section link from section 2 to section 3. So now if I double click we're actually going to section link to section 3. So from here we can see that these are cash transactions that started out in New York, left through Arizona, specifically at a certain zip code, and these are customer account numbers that may or may not be that may or may not represent a funnel account. And if you want to take this one more step further, what I'll do now is take a list table and drop it in the bottom of this. What I'll do is basically grab all of, all of our data here, drag it in, and that's going to be too much data to process, but what I'm going to do here is actually provide one more link so that when I click an account, I see the specific transactions below. So what I want to do here is define a new interaction within SAS Visual Analytics. And we're basically going to say your tree map one filters our list table. So as you can see here, if I click an account, I can see the specific transactions that may or may not represent funnel account activity. So let's take a look at a full-blown version of this report where I've already done a lot of the work ahead of time to, to make it visually appealing.
So as we can see here, I've already got the colors organized. So we can see that red has represents higher cash volumes, while green represents lower. You can also see here on the very right here, as I click each state, I get a quick summarization of what's going to happen within that state. So if I click um, Georgia, I can see over here to the right, this is where the cash out is going to be coming out of for transactions that resulted, that started from Georgia, as well as our cash in across time. But let's double click New York and drill into that. As you can see here, I've already got the link set up between section one and two. And another thing I'll recommend is numbering your sections if you've got any type of drilling. It just kind of makes it easier to understand the flow that you came through. So you can see right here to the right, I've also summarized where we came in from. So we can look at right here that we're looking at a total of about 78,000 transactions, totaling about $2.1 billion that came in through New York and they're actually going to go out from these four states. And again, if I click each state, I get a quick summary over here to the right. But what I'm going to do is actually drill into California, and I'm actually going to actually drill down on California rather than section link, because what I've, again, what we've defined here is a hierarchy that goes from state to zip code. And again, the color schemes are set up now so that red represents higher uh, cash activity. And as you can see here, we've got a few potential branches here that stick out. So now what we're going to do is actually double click the branch. And we're going to section link to our customer analysis to see what are the customer accounts within this particular branch that had cash originate within the state of New York and had cash exit through this particular branch in this particular zip code. And as you can see here, we've got one specific account with a few transactions that started in New York, left through California, and actually have pretty high cash out amounts. So this analysis is effective because we've used a series of clicks to guide the analysis down a specific path. We've summarized each step of the path and we've provided a reasonable number of transactions to analyze in the end. From here you could refine the analysis further by seeing how the time between transactions may influence your analysis. Uh, you could correlate other customer risk ranking attributes or you could just simply export the data and start an investigation using the tool of your choice.